Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss the newly released text slicer in Microsoft Power BI. In November 2024 release of Microsoft Power BI we got a new visual and that visual is known as text slicer so today we are going to explore that. So let's jump onto the release notes. This is the Power BI November 2024 feature summary and then we scroll little down you will find inside the content we have a new visual the visual is text slicer and it came as a purview now let me click on that and we'll reach to the notes these are the notes of the new visual the text slicer introducing the new text slicer now available in our core visual gallery this month brings the arrival of the new text slicer in power bi offering new possibilities for both users and organization how to enable you have to go to the options and setting options preview features and text slicer visual you have to enable it using that i'm going to showcase you that setting the text slicer works by allowing user to input specific text that act as a filter targeting a design data feed by entering the desired text into the slicer input box the slicer effectively narrows down the data set to display only relevant information that contains the entered text the functionality is particularly helpful for handling large data set where quick and precise filtering is essential for effective data analysis and presentation. Now how to create, you will get this new text slice and you can drag it to the canvas. To filter the data set, add a field from the data model to the, to the field well to establish the text slicer functionality, allowing it to filter the data set based on the user input. Simply add text to the slicer input box, select apply icon or press enter. The slicer immediately filters the data set displaying the visual results. The new text slicer introduced powerful customization filtering tool for Power BI, improved user experience and unmatched customization. So let's jump onto the Power BI to explore this feature out. I'm here on the Power BI and before I explore that feature of text slicer, let me showcase you how to enable this feature. To go to file, options and setting, options, it will open a pop-up. Inside the preview feature, when you scroll down, you will see new text slicer visual feature. You have to enable that. Click on OK if you are enabling it for first time. As I have already enabled, I am going to click on cancel. You might have to open a new file or close and open the file to get this slicer inside your visualization. I am back onto the Power BI report view and let me add a page to use this visual. So let me click on the plus button. And here what I am going to do is, first of all, let me create a visual. Want to create a table visual brand wise net brand wise net let me convert it into a table visual now i would like to add the text slicer now here in the text slicer let me add the brand from the item into the fields by bringing them into the fields now here let me type one and press enter and as you can see all the brands that contains one has been filtered I clicked inside it and I'm now entering 11 and let me press enter. Now I am getting data only for brand 11 or everything which contains 11. Again go back and let's say write 10 and let me click on this arrow which is apply button. So I am getting everything which contains 10 and in this case it is only brand 10. Let me use 9 and arrow apply. I got brand 9. Same way I can filter other things. Uh, on the three dots. We have the options like export data, show as table, spotlight, sorted, sending, descending, and format. You have a clear button to clear the selection. You will get all the values. Now, I would like to create a dependent slicer on this text slicer, which will get filtered. And based on that slicer, I'm going to filter the table visual or other visuals. Let me add one more slicer. Let me add brand to the slicer and make it as a list slicer. If I go ahead and try to filter one in the text slicer, it will filter both table visual as well as the brand list slicer. But I only want it to filter the brand list slicer and based on that I want to filter the table visual. For that we have to use edit interaction feature. Now click on the any of the visuals and go to format enable edit interaction. In this case we have to disable brand text slicers interaction with all other visuals other than the brand list slicer in this case there are only two but let me add few more so that you understand it better let me control c control v i create two visuals now this visual is filtering let me also change this visual to category 
it may disable brand text slicers interaction with this new visual also brand text slicer as of now is only interacting with the brand list slicer and it is not interacting with any other visual on the page as of now so let me start playing around with this let me enter two the text slicer as of now is only filtering the brand list slicer and when i filter the value in the brand list slicer it is going to filter the other visuals in this manner i am able to create a dependency of a search on a slicer and then i am able to use that particular slicer which is filtered by the search to filter my other visuals in this manner i am able to create a search experience along with the list experience let me enter a value 1 and click on apply and once i do that I will only be seeing value which contains one in my brand values and using those values let's say I can select brand 10 and 11 and that will filter my visualization. So what is happening here is I am able to create a dependent slicer on my text slicer and then I am able to use that dependent slicer to filter my values of all other visuals. Text slicer as of now support only one field means either I can have brand or I can let's say drag category. And once I drag category, it will only filter category. It cannot filter brand and category together. So I can have one at a time. In the past on the similar situation, when I use the text filter, which is a very similar slicer to the text slicer, we have concatenated the values of all the columns of a table into one column. And then we have used that particular column to filter the values. I'll go to the table view. I go to the item table and here I'll create a new column. I'll click on any of the column and you will get the column tools and inside the column tools click on new column once you click on the new column in this new column we can append multiple columns of the item table into one column and then we can use that for filter so let's create a column appended column and here we can have brand ampersand pace ampersand category ampersand is ampersand team now we got a combined string i could have added all the columns but right now just for simplicity i've added only few columns now let's go back and inside this text slicer instead of brand let's add that appended column now let me do one thing now let me enable the interaction this visual let me start filtering out now as you can see with the category one what it is all filtering I have added this new column append column here and now what I have also done is I have enabled the filtering on both the visuals and I am going to remove this visual now I don't need this additional way for understanding of this so let me remove this now let me start filtering let's say I enter a value let's say 10 when I enter 10 I see both brand 10 as well as brand 2 I am seeing brand 2 because 10 can be anywhere it can be in brand it can be in item so in this case it is coming because of item we can add a new visual on item name and we can see that these are the items which are getting filtered because of 10 it may be anywhere in the string brand category or name anywhere in this manner you can work on multiple columns but that's still a workaround hopefully I get supported with multiple columns. We'll be able to use that. So this is all about the new text slicer. Why don't you go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.